Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. I'm going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, the square root of n plus 9 equals 1. So my first step is to limit that square root. I'm going to square both sides here. And in doing so, I limit the square root on the left, leaving with n plus 9 here equals 1 squared, which is just 1, which is fantastic. Okay. I then need to subtract a 9 to both sides, leaving me with n equals 1 minus 9, which is negative 8. So now I need to check to see if that's a real solution or extraneous solution, right? And so I'm going to rewrite my equation. Well, I'm going to check it here. So I rewrite my equation. Square root of n plus 9 equals 1. Plug negative 8 in for n, so square root of negative 8 plus 9 equals 1. Simplify, negative 8 plus 9 is 1. one uh, square root of 1 equals 1. Square root of 1 is just 1, so 1 does equal 1, and we're good. That's true, right? Fantastic. So n equals negative 8 is a true answer. So let's recap. We're given the square root of n plus 9 equals 1. I squared both sides, so I limit the square root, leaving me with n plus 9 equals, well, 1 squared is just 1. Subtract the 1 on both sides, giving me n equals negative 8. From there, from there. And it checks, so I rewrote my equation, and I plug negative 8 in for n. In doing so, I just simplified, negative 8 plus 9 is 1. Square root of 1 is just 1. Brought the 1 on the right down, well, 1 does equal 1. That's a true statement. And so, I can confidently say that n equals negative 8 is my final answer.